Hi you guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Shaquita, Beauty by Kui here on Kui TV. And if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Hopefully by the end of this video you will feel the need to subscribe and click the bell so you will be notified each and every time I upload a video. I've been staying on a schedule if you notice Mondays at 5 Eastern Standard Time so grab a snack grab you a drink get comfortable get in your lounge work because I know you ain't got nowhere to go and watch my video on today we'll be doing this nice cute simple but chic get ready with me makeup and outfit edition so if you're interested want to get inspired so that when we finally do get off of this lockdown you'll have some inspiration then stay tuned talk to you later okay you guys so starting off with this video i am priming my eyelids with some concealer the l'oreal infallible full wear concealer in the shade honey and for my transition shades i'm using the jackie Ana and abh palette don't forget all items will be listed in the description box below and then for this black shade i am i forgot which palette y'all but most of the palettes have been anastasia sepulcher and anastasia and jackie Ana palette so right here, I am just lining my eyes with the Wet n Wild liner and some mascara before I apply my lashes. And then I'm priming my face using the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer. And I believe I just used one primer. Again, it'll be listed in the description box below. And for my foundation, I am also using the L'Oreal infallible foundation as you can see it matches my face perfectly it's up to you whether or not you use a brush or a sponge and you just want to make sure that it's well blended no streaks whatsoever and then going back with that same concealer to go ahead and highlight my face and you want to make sure that your sponge is damp this is the Sonia Kashuk sponge and you just want to take your time with this to make sure that that concealer is buffed out just right no patches whatsoever just nice and full coverage and how you get it to be full coverage is you let it sit for a little bit and then you proceed to blend out but be careful because if you let this sit too long it will not budge so you'll have to go and apply a little bit of more you'll have to apply more concealer to kind of like wet it a little bit and then try to blend it out that way or you can just use a nice setting spray something hydrating and it'll wet it that way just to fyi because <laughs> i learned from my mistake and as you can see i'm going back and forth with the tip and the end of my beauty sponge sorry about that but as you can see, I'm going back and forth with the tip and the flat end of the sponge. I'm using the tip to blend out the concealer. And then I'm using the end of the sponge, the rounded end. And I'm using that to blend it out into my foundation shade. That way you won't see a distinctive line between the concealer and the foundation. And this helps to give you a more blended look. As you can see, I let the concealer sit. And it's giving me a nice full coverage under that eye, which is definitely where I would like full coverage. And I'm also using the tip of that sponge to clean up my eye look. And now I'm just using the button of the sponge just to make sure everything is nice and blended and looking all silky and smooth. And now I am blending out my nose contour. I'm not going to make it too perfect yet. Um, I'm going to wait further on in this video and just cleaning up under my cheeks for the contour. So right here, I am setting my concealer with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in the shade 35, I believe deep. And I'm just lightly setting it. I'm not going too heavy. And you just want to keep patting until basically you're patting that 
powder into the concealer so that your concealer will not move and with this i needed some red to come back into my face because as you can tell i have like a red undertone so i'm using the elf 16 hour camo concealer and i'll put the shade down below and i'm just using this as contour and to add that warmth back to my face and to blend this out, I am using the same brush that I did to apply my foundation. And you just want to do a patting, like a swipe and pat at the same time to blend that into your concealer and the foundation shade. And as you can see, that helped bring that warmth back into my face. And right here, I let the concealer sit too long. <laughs> but I was able to finesse it so that it would blend out like I needed it to. And on this part, I am just applying all over face powder, one that matches the color of your skin. And I'm just using this to marry all of those wet products on my face together. And then I'm enforcing that contour with my Morphe Glamour Bronze Bronzer in the shade Prodigy. And that's also helping me to add that warmth, which is what bronzers do back to your face. So the same colors that I applied in my crease, I am, applying, I am applying it to my lower lid. And to give this look a little oomph, I added a gold liner on the top and the sides of my black liner. And sorry because my camera cut off sis. But yeah, that's this eye look. I did my lashes and lips off camera. Okay, you guys. So this is the outfit that I chose to pair with my makeup look, which is some nice cheetah print slacks that i got from walmart five dollars girl off the clearance what what and this white t-shirt i believe i got it from rue 21 when they had like their big sale around the holiday time five dollars also so you're looking at ten dollars this purse that i got from i want to say amazon it was like 12.99 and then these this layered necklace that come from Forever 21 on sale, nine bucks. And then my little uh, 14 karat gold hoop earrings. And yeah, girl, and you can be real cute on a cat, cast a bad and bougie on a budget. But this is just a nice little simple little outfit that you can wear throughout the day. You still look classy, you feel classy. And you can just really take on your day feeling as confident as possible. So I like these type of videos so you can kind of like imagine what makeup looks to wear with what outfit. And you can wear this makeup look day or night. And is there anything else I want to say? I ain't wearing them shoes as y'all can see. Well, y'all can't see, but I ain't got no shoes. But yeah, this is pretty much the outfit and i hope you guys enjoy if so show this video lots of love and thumbs up the video subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell so you'll be notified each and every time i upload i've been trying to stay on a schedule um mondays at 5 p.m i think it's eastern standard time so yeah um mondays at five grab you a snack Click on my video and let's chat, let's talk, sound off in the comments section. Let's grow, you guys. Right now, I'm at about 116 subscribers. I'm very small, but I'm hoping that my content is good enough for you to come and join the team so we can grow and just really take YouTube by storm. And I thank you guys. Follow me on Instagram. I'll link it down below. And maybe in the video, I don't know. But also, it'll be in the description box below. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm.